Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. Today is Friday, July the 16th, 2021, and back behind me you can see my bicycle with my kayak loaded up onto my trailer. It's been reported that Theodore Tugboat is temporarily visiting the Toronto Harbour, and my mission for today is to take the kayak down to the waterfront and go and find Theodore. So here I've arrived down at Lake Ontario, here at my favorite launching point at the entrance to Trillium Park. Now I'm going to get the kayak off the trailer and into the water and begin my paddling. Alright, so here I am in the water and my plan is that I'm going to paddle over that way in the east direction towards the western channel because the location that I'm hoping Theodore Tugboat will be will be the harbour front centre in the inner harbour. There's a bit of wind this evening so you can see things are a bit choppy out there on the lake but over on this side of the breakwater, things are a lot calmer and hopefully inside the inner harbour should be calmer as well. So here I've reached the western channel. Over there on the other side is the Toronto Island Airport. And now I'm going to paddle through there and head into the inner harbour. So I've reached the end of the western channel here. And over on the left is this old grain elevator, which now sits in a park known as Ireland Park. The destination where I'm heading for is just over that way. So I've now made it as far as Lower Spadina and over there in the distance I think I can see what I'm looking for. This boat back behind me is the Norvik 1 which is a privately owned boat that somebody lives in here on the harbour year round. Over here you can see the Marine Fire and EMS station with two fire boats docked here on the water. So here I'm paddling past the harbour front canoe and kayak centre which is a place that offers lessons and rentals but they also have the option for people that own their own kayaks or canoes they're able to pay a fee and store them here and that will save you the trouble from having to worry about transporting your canoe or kayak down to the water every time. Inside this little bay here in that building is the Toronto Police Service's Marine Police Unit. Here I'm passing the Amsterdam Brew House and you can see there are lots of people out enjoying the patio here, eating their dinners. So this area here is known as Harbour Front, and this here is the main event, the Theodore II Tugboat. So what exactly is Theodore Tugboat? Well, in the 1990s, there was a Canadian children's TV show called Theodore the Tugboat, which featured this guy as the main character. The show was kind of similar to another children's TV show called Thomas the Tank Engine and it used small miniature remote control boats that they were able to drive around a small set in a studio. To help promote the show, they eventually made a full-size replica of the main character, which is what you can see back there behind me. After the show ended, this boat was purchased by a touring company and it gave tours around the Halifax Harbour. Although this boat was made to look like a tugboat, it's really not built like one and it wouldn't be able to serve as one. The hull of it is actually made out of wood. So why is Theodore 2 here in Toronto? Well, the touring company recently sold it to a new owner and over the last week or so, Theodore Tugboat has been traveling through the St. Lawrence Seaway en route to its new home in Hamilton, Ontario. In case you were wondering, yes, I did wear my red hat today so that we would match. So I've been hanging out here in the harbour for a bit and the time is now around 7.15 and I think I'm going to head back to where I started because I want to make sure I get back before it starts to get dark. Bye bye Theodore. This park here is called HTO Park and they've done their best to try and give the park a beach-like feel. Did you know it's actually possible to paddle underneath of Queen's Quay? There's a small inlet over here on the other side. It doesn't go very far though. And apparently it's a place where a lot of debris collects. So here I made it back to Ontario Place, where it appears that a marriage proposal has taken place while I've been gone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed following along with this little adventure this evening. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.